Hi everyone, Camilla Rinaldi here and today we will talk about the new Samsung Galaxy S23 series. Let's see which Samsung flagship is the right one for you in 2023. To kick things off, we will dive into the most important fact, the prices. The Galaxy S23 is retail for $799, starting at 128GB of storage. The Galaxy S23 Plus retails at $999 and you get 256GB of storage. And the Galaxy S23 Ultra starts from $1199 and comes with an S Pen and 256 gigabytes of storage. Bear in mind that only the basic Galaxy S23 variant comes with a slower and more powerful, hungry 128 gigabytes UFC 3.1 memory. All of the other models comes with a newer UFC 4.0 memory. Now let's talk about what unites all of these three models. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy processor. The 4 Galaxy here translates to a higher clock frequency, although the question does remain whether one would experience this in daily use. I don't know, I don't think so. What I can say though is that it can handle all of the daily tasks without any issues. All three devices also offer IP68 certification with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the front and the back. There is also the One UI 5 skin based on Android 13 and, of course, the update guarantee of 4 years of Android versions and, of course, 5 years of Google security patches. Now let's talk about the differences here. Samsung offers three different display sizes, as you can see. The S23 has a 6.1 inch AMOLED display, the Plus version comes with 6.6 .6 inch AMOLED display, and the Galaxy S23 Ultra boosts a 6.9 inch display with a special space for the S Pen. All displays offer a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate and LTPO 2.0. However, only the S23 Ultra model allows you to set a dynamic refresh rate of 1 to 100Hz. Also, only the S23 Ultra has a curved panel with a QHD Plus resolution. The displays of the S23 and S23 Plus offer maximum resolution of Full HD Plus. The front-facing camera is the same for the whole lineup with 12 megapixels, but only the S23 Ultra comes with a 200 megapixels main camera. The S23 Ultra also sports two telephoto lenses. The 10 megapixels camera with 3x optical zoom is available across all the three variants, while the S23 Ultra has an additional 10x optical zoom lens. Both the Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus offer identical camera setups, featuring a 50 megapixels main camera. All three S23 variants come with a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera as well. And let me tell you something, all three smartphones are able to capture excellent photos. Here the S23 shows a lot of detail despite of the gloomy weather. The selfies are also quite pleasing and the surprise here is the night shots, where the S23 has clearly taken a step forward. On the Galaxy S23 Plus, we also see the significant improvements in the selfie camera, resulting in even low-light internal ambient pictures looking bright and clear. The Galaxy S23 Plus main camera's portrait mode is simply stunning, while the night shots offer remarkable contrast that truly stands out. Finally, the Galaxy S23 Ultra shows an impressive level of details here, even though the color saturation is still slightly high. We can also say that uh, while Samsung's portrait mode is not quite up to par with Apple's, their strain lights in their remarkable zoom capabilities. Additionally, Samsung managed to capture readable and natural looking scenes at night with the main camera lens. Well, for additional image samples of the Galaxy S23 series cameras, you can visit nextspeed.com. Now, the last important purchase criteria would be probably the built-in battery, right? 
There is a 3,900 mAh battery in the Galaxy S23 and it's charged at 25 watts. A significantly larger 4,700 mAh battery fits into the Galaxy S23 Plus, which is topped by the 5,000 mAh in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Both S23 Plus and S23 Ultra can be powered with a 45 watts charging brick and both wireless and reverse wireless charging are featured across all devices and last but not least the galaxy s23 is the only variant out of the three that lacks ultra wideband connectivity so which galaxy s23 model suits you best if you are looking for a more compact all-rounded then the basic version, the Galaxy S23, is just the right one for you. But try to get the variant with 256GB of RAM. And if you want a bigger display and more battery life, the Galaxy S23 Plus makes much more sense, especially with 512GB of storage. Finally, if money is not a problem, you can get the S Pen, a curvy 2K panel and one of the best cameras configuration in the market right now by choosing the Galaxy S23 Ultra. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Goodbye!